Welcome again. In this session, we are reading Acts chapter 9, and we're going to start at verse 19, and we're reading through to verse 31. Saul, or Paul, begins to preach. Last session, we did Acts chapter 9, the first part of it, and that's when Saul was just about to start on a journey to continue persecuting the church like he was. And Jesus really got a hold of him. Jesus appeared to him and struck him down, and he was blind, and he fasted for three days. And this is where we pick up. He took food and was strengthened. Saul stayed several days with the disciples who were at Damascus. Immediately in the synagogues, he proclaimed the Christ, that he is the Son of God. Notice here what it says as opposed to what it doesn't say. It says that Saul began to preach in the synagogues. It doesn't say that he went and, you know, gathered a bunch of followers together and started a church. And that's what a lot of people would do today. You know, like if someone who was a great leader who just got saved, you know, they would go on evangelizing and gather followers and they would plant a church. Well, that's not what Saul did here. He preached in the Jewish synagogues. Verse 21, all who heard him were amazed and said, isn't this he who in Jerusalem made havoc of those who called on this name? And he had come here intending to bring them bound before the chief priests. But Saul increased more in strength and confounded the Jews who lived in Damascus, proving that this is the Messiah. When many days were fulfilled, the Jews conspired together to kill him. But their plot became known to Saul. They watched the gates both day and night that they might kill him. But his disciples took him by night and let him down through the wall, lowering him in a basket. When Saul had come to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, he tried to join himself to the disciples. But they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and declared to them how he had seen the Lord on the way and that he had spoken to him and how at Damascus he had preached boldly in the name of Jesus. He was with them entering into Jerusalem, preaching boldly the name of the Lord Jesus. He spoke and disputed against the Hellenists, that is, the Hebrews who used Greek language and culture. But they were seeking to kill him. When the brothers knew it, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. So the assemblies throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria had peace and were built up. They were multiplied, walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit. You got to understand here the disciples and those who believed that Yeshua was the Messiah. Like all these were all Jewish people, okay? They knew that Saul was one of the leaders that fiercely persecuted them. I mean, to the point of death. So that's why they found it very hard to believe that Saul was actually a believer like them now. But isn't this an awesome testimony? Can you imagine someone of such great stature and such great authority that so fiercely persecuted those who believe in Yeshua, all of a sudden he says, now I'm a believer in Yeshua. You know, some people might say, even today, some people might say, well, I, I think he's trying to trick us. I think he's got something up his sleeve. And notice also how they all wanted to kill him so much. More than anybody, it seems. It seems like they wanted to kill him more than anybody. There is a very good reason why it seems here that Saul is a target of his fellow Jewish brothers like none other. And we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about this as we go through the book of Acts. It is going to be awesome. And you know it. Seek God while he still may be found. You will find him if you seek him with all your heart. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.